Hey guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. So today is the happiest of happy days, mainly because these bad boys are back. So the Starbucks Red Cups are back, which makes me so happy. But with the Starbucks Red Cups comes the wonderful Starbucks Winter Flavors. So this is a Chegnog with my name Tanya and a little heart because my baristas are awesome. So I'm going to be sipping on this through this whole video because when these come out, I literally buy them almost every day. It's horrible for me, but they're so limited and so yummy that I can't help myself but get them. So that is the first thing that made me super happy today. Second thing that made me super happy today is the fact that I am filming another Monday Marvelous and Mundanes for you guys. So that's like my weekly favorites for anyone who's new to my channel. And it's the products that I've been using the most this week. Doesn't necessarily have to be a makeup type product. It can just be beauty or food or whatever. So the first one was, I already talked about it, the um, chai eggnog lattes from Starbucks. Hands down, my favorite drink all year round. More than pumpkin spice, more than anything else, this is my favorite. Last Monday's Marvelous and Mundanes featured a lot of kind of body creams and hand creams. One that I didn't talk about because I wasn't using as much was the La, La Octane hand creams. Now I have the rose scented one in a small travel size and then I have the original one which I don't think really has a scent in my opinion in the big size. This one's in my purse. This one sits on my beauty table. I do love these. They're super creamy. They soak right into the skin. They don't leave your skin feeling greasy at all. And like I said, the rose one does have a little bit of a strong rose scent, which I'm not a huge fan of, but the original with no scent is one of my favorites. My nails look horrible right now, so don't judge me. I will be painting them later tonight. I should have painted them before I did this video. But what I've been using a ton on my nails is the Julep Reveal Nail Growth Revitalizing Serum. And as you can see, this one's almost all gone. As you can see, this one's almost all gone. This is really simple to use. You literally just pop it out, it's a little wand, and then you just run it along your cuticle and then under the nail. And you can massage it in. I normally don't. I just kind of let it sit until it dries. I really find this really helps grow my nails, and when they grow, when I'm using this stuff, they are stronger and thicker. So this is one of my absolute favorite all-time nail products. Next is a foundation that I wasn't using as much and have now re-pulled out and fallen in love with. I just bought a backup of this today. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation. I'm in the color number 100 ivory because I'm basically a ghost. But I love this foundation, especially in the winter time when my skin can be a little more dry. I find this foundation to be super hydrating, really moisturizing on the face, and it gives me kind of that dewy finish. I'd say it's a medium coverage, but it can be built to a fuller coverage, but I wouldn't call it a full coverage foundation. But it's really nice and like I said, very dewy and makes your skin feel very hydrated. While we're on kind of a foundation face conversation, let's talk a little bit about this. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Press Translucent Powder. This is a, just a basic finishing powder. This is just a white. This is a white translucent finishing powder. It's in the press version, which sometimes I like and sometimes I don't. It does come off a little white on the finger, but of course it blends out to nothing. I use this only kind of down my nose and in my cheek area where I'm already adding extra highlight, especially when I'm pairing it with a dewy or foundation. I want to mat out those areas before I add kind of a shimmery blush or highlight. So this is one of my favorites. Next is a two-in-one combination. This is the Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman Blush Brush. If you've never heard of the Pixie Boo Sisters, you should go check them out. They're amazing. But Samantha Chapman created a line of brushes, and this blush brush is one of my favorites, especially for more pigmented tone blushes. This is part of the MAX Limited Edition Christmas line. It's seen to be seen. It is such a gorgeous kind of shimmery, like more berry toned color here and then pink on the outside. It swatches up beautifully. It is what I'm wearing today. But with this brush, because it is more of a pigmented color, all I do is kind of swirl it around, tap a little bit of the excess off, and then just literally apply it to the cheeks, blending outwards. And because of the way this brush is designed, it doesn't put too much product on your face, and it really helps for the blend because it all has different. The top of the brush all has different lengths, so the majority of product gets condensed in the middle, and then the outside bristles really just blend. I don't find that with this blush I use a contour or a highlight. I just use this blush because I think on its own it's very shimmery and super pretty. Blush brush, say that five times fast, guys. Blush brush, 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 blush br
On the top mascara end, we have the Maybelline Illegal Leg Fiber Extensions. This is the waterproof version. I had this mascara for so long, and I loved it forever, and then I just stopped using it. I started using other things, and I forgot I had it. But truthfully, I love this. I love the fiber extensions in this mascara. They're very natural. They don't just flake off all over your face. So this is a definite buy product is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balms. These are being talked about all over the internet right now. Everybody and their dog is talking about these. The one specifically I've been wearing is the one that's on my lips right now. This is 205 Elusive, which is one of the matte ones. So this is what it looks like on the hand swatch. This is what it looks like on the lips. But Elusive is a very wearable kind of medium pink shade. Really pretty on most skin tones. If you don't own this one, you should go pick this up. I don't think these are limited edition. Two more Marvelouses and then we're on to the mundanes. This I've used a ton and a ton of my videos. This is the NYX Eyebrow Powder in number five brunette. They have this in about, I think it's seven different shades. This is my favorite shade of all of them. Ignore my wax, it's really dirty because I use it so much. But it comes with kind of a more red brown and then kind of a deep brown and then the wax. I use this on my eyebrows all the time. It is one of my favorite brow setting powders and I think it's a really great deal. Last thing I'm going to talk about for my Marvelous is this is something I've been dying to try for so long. This is the NYX Roll On Shimmer and this is in the color Mauve Pink. I'm wearing this on the center of my eyelids today. This is such a versatile product. It literally is like an old kind of deodorant stick roll on. See how pretty that is? So this can be used in so many different ways. The way I used it today was I rolled a bunch on my finger and then I just patted it onto the eye and it gave a gorgeous kind of highlighting effect right in the center of my eye. But this is a great product and I will definitely be picking up some more of these. All right, you ready to talk about the mundanes? Remember what I said about these? These are not products that I hate. They just either didn't work for me or there's something a little off about them. The first one is the It's So Big Mascara. This came in a glossy box, I think, or maybe a Ipsy, don't quote me, as usual. I love the brush on this. It's so small, it gets right into the lashes, but the formula is really wet and stringy, and I hate that in a mascara. So The next product is one I'm sure I'm gonna get a whole lot of hate for, so feel free, I'm used to it. Just because something doesn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you, but I try and talk about mundane products in the form of formulation and what's good and bad about them. So these, I know you guys are all like, oh my god, I can hear you, I can hear you. These are the NYX Love in Paris palettes. I have three. I have uh, Madeleines and Macaroons. I have Parisian Chic and I have Be Our Guest. I have seen these raved about on YouTube and I have to burst everybody's bubble, at least in my opinion. These are horrible compared to other NYX shadows that I own. I have the entire line of NYX single eyeshadows and those are hit and miss. I would say more than 80% of the collection is really nice, pigmented and smooth. These however, I just, I don't know. I find the majority of the shades in these palettes to be chalky. They are beautifully laid out, they do have a nice bit of matte color, but the matte ones are pretty chalky and some of the shimmer ones have so little pigmentation and are so flaky that I just, I don't see these as a good value and I don't see them as good eyeshadows and NYX makes good stuff. So that's why this really bothered me. This one out of all of them is probably the one that let me down the most. This is the Be Our Guest and I love a good purple, especially a good purple palette. But I'm just going to do a quick rub down here so you guys can see. These are the purples. The deep purple barely shows up at all. It looks actually pretty decent on camera, but honestly in person. Okay, so these are the purples. I don't know if you guys can really tell on camera, but they really aren't all that impressive. The dark purple is really streaky. The medium purple barely shows up. The lilac looks like a white. This just isn't impressive. NYX can do so much better than this. If you like them, good on ya, but I don't want to spend 20 minutes getting this basic eye look from a palette that should do this in five seconds, honestly. That's my gripe about it. That's how I feel. It is a mundane for me. So these, you know, while I think that they are decent eyeshadows and they are usable, you have to work really hard with some of them. And that to me just isn't impressive, so that made them a mundane. That is it. That is all. Those are my Monday Marvelous and Mundanes. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.
One of these days I'm gonna get her on camera. My mother is staying with us. We are currently in the process of moving to a bigger home. <laughs> She's thumbs downing me in the corner. So she is literally standing at the bottom of my stairs, like directing to me drinking coffee as if she's my producer. 